Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. Hmm. That's very interesting right there. Use the right stick to take a look around. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. What did this guy do? I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Why would you say that to me? I don't, I don't want to say F you, but like... I'm just trying to play it as cool as possible. What's going on? What's all this commotion? I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Officers are available for him coming to one. Homie, I already and said that. Before I long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This Watch other out. time... <laughs> in a real messed up situation. What's that? Why the hell did he have his gun out? Oh, man. That man was trying to fend for his life. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He gone, man. He gone. He's not moving. He gone. He gone, man. Better, better worry about something else, cause that man gone. Hmm. What is this? 
Damn. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get these handcuffs off, man. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah. I need to drag myself out that window. Come on, come on. I need to come on. drag myself out that window. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Make it happen. Make it happen. Let's go. Let's go. You got this, buddy. Come on. up situation right here we just have to be careful we just have to watch ourselves wow first of all first of all I need that I need that looks empty it'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off Okay, how, how how do I get these cups off? How? How would I get these cups off? Alright, Mr. Briggs. Time for you to think. Let's see what's going on. I don't know if I should mess with him, because what if he starts... You know what? I'm going to choke him out if he starts doing anything. Oh, the keys. Who would have thought they'd be on him? Shit. Dang! Pick him up! Pick him up! Oh! Prepare yourself. Come on. Got this, buddy. Unlock him. Fight or flight. Officer. <laughs> Holy shit! Son. Oh. 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 What in the hell? Get away from me! You know. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Oh, come on, come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on, bro. Come on. Don't make me do this. One time for the one time. Stretch your thumbsticks. T-shirt stretcher. Perfect. We have to get up on our feet ASAP, buddy. Come on, bro. Get up. Whoa. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Hello? Anybody? 
Bro, why are you, you you can't just be out here screaming like this. Granted, he doesn't know what's going on. But still, you're outside and you it's pitch black, bro. You just somebody was just laid out, broke legs, got up, came after you. Came after us. 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 I picked up the shoddy. I made you do what you did. I activated your flight or flight. Now keep it down. I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? This man's beating on the window. Beating on the window. Top 100 things not to do in an apocalypse. Trash boy. Hello? There's something going on. Mr. Window Beat. Doesn't seem like anybody's home. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Wow. These people might need more help than I do. This might have been an extremely bad idea, but you know what? We're gonna figure it out. Yo, 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 what's, what's that? that? Beeping? Like, that's what I'm saying, bro. What is that beeping? But, you know, I want to see what's in the fridge, though. Oh, no. Nope. Mm, the Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. I guess, uh... This there place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and check this answering machine. There are three new messages. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. until my parents come home. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. 
Okay. 37. <laughs> Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get off me, scrub. Get off me, scrub. Damn. Damn. Bro, come on, bro. You can't play. You can't be falling, nah. Oh. Help me, help me, sweetie, help me, help me, sweetie, help me. Come on, come on, mm. you out of here, mm. you out of here, come on. You want another one? Mm. You out of here, come on. You try me again, you try me, you try me, come on. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? I feel bad for this little girl. Uh... It's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Smart move. But at the same time, the sun is setting, so it's like, all right, Mr. Limp, you're going to have to fix your leg up now, man. Like, we have to, we got to protect Clementine. This man can't even walk straight, walking all the wrong way. You walk, his <laughs> leg broke. <laughs> Goodness gracious, Earl. Clementine, help me, help me go the right way. I'm gonna call this man Earl. He's walking like a Earl. Earl. All right, so it looks like we're gonna try to open this gate. Uh, uh, oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah, I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm a neighbor. Her parents are 
out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Dang, I lied. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. I mean, listen, I had to lie to protect her, man. I don't know who these people are, what they're capable of. But man, that's an eight-year-old girl, man. I guess I, I, I have the responsibility of protecting her now. Were any of those guys neighbors too? No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I, I had to say that I was her neighbor. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Nice to meet you. I'm not gonna lie about my name. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Hmm. Nowhere. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. Damn. You got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right, you're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. 
We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... It's cool. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. I don't know. What about that exchange makes me feel this way, but there's something about this dude that I don't like. 
but we're gonna find out soon enough. They ain't each other. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Got that ride to make it if you want it. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Hey there! 
You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Clem just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten! Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits! We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine! Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen! We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten! Shut up! We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in! Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? It's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. Damn! They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. Damn! I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Oh, shit! Oh, Just shit. worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Bruh. Oh, probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Lee, 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 Lee. Why would you put her in this situation? Why would you put Clementine in that situation? Lee, you worried about the wrong things, Lee. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! 
inside the building? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. How come, how come you couldn't do it? What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. All right, so we have to find these pills. I'm, I'm being honest with you. I don't know why, and why, why none of y'all couldn't have did this, you feel me? Why I gotta get these pills, you feel me? Why I gotta get them? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I can tell him to take care of you. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hell than us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. A lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Another situation that they are about to put me in. Let's see. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Let's head back inside. Okay.
How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. See that dude in the... Uh, Find the, anything? The right. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? For your sake, I hope the answer is no. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. 
neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Get down! Before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Cold-blooded as she is. I bet if she was trapped down there, we would have had to go save her in an instant. But we can't go save another. Shawty need to learn a little bit about morality. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Ooh, this is going to be a stealthy moment. All right. Ooh, I can't be seen. We're going to look this way, too. Nobody to the left. We're looking to the right. Carly, I need you to be ready with that shot now. 
I need you to be ready with that shot now. We can probably make it over to the RV or down to the. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. <laughs> Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Why don't you shut up and stop being pessimistic, Carly? We're figuring this out right here. We have to work as a team. Hmm. Let's try going this way. There's walkers over there, though. Let's see what happens if we examine this window. Screwdriver. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Yeah, you gotta stop doing that. You definitely have to not do that. Playing stealthy is healthy. Yeah. For that fellow lurking near the front, get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Dang. That was sick. That was real. I had to do what we had to do. I don't know if we want to push this car. Here we go. Let's sneak in here. Let's grab that. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. That was awesome. Squish that man. We're really using our brains here, guys. I mean, I got the spark plug. Nah, nah, this isn't safe. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Let's get that real quick. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Send them to the other realm. You don't belong here, fool. Yeah, smack that man. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Stealth mode Jones. Stick you real quick. Hmm. Eat your vegetables. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Give me that. Two more. That should help. You already know what we about to do. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Let's do this. Make sure that they know to stretch them thumbsticks. As a matter of fact, we have to enter action with boldness. Let's get it. Smack man, smack man, smack man, smack man, smack man, smack man, smack man. Get out of here, scrub. You want some too? Send them to other realm. Stretch your thumbsticks. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. 
Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no! Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. She's telling us not to go in. She's probably bitten. Or worse. Let's see. Here goes. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Len. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Let her make her choice. Let her make her choice. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. We had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. 
Awesome. Now to distract those things carefully. the time perfect opportunity let's make a move be careful keep an eye out will you to hit him so many times man that was too brutal too brutal God. there we go holy crap run <laughs> Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Gotta hurry. Oh no. There's a screwdriver on her back. We gotta remember that. That's a clue. I just think this is gonna get serious. As serious as it could possibly get. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. 
Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We don't make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Shit! Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Okay, then. Time. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. You gotta push close the door. Did you find anything? Nothing. The window is screwed. Go! I need help! I need help keeping the door closed! Where's my team? I found something! Thank you, Clementine. time. Okay, okay, we're just gonna put this right here. Right there. We're good. We're good, guys. No, not Doug! Carly, shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Fight or flight! Fight or flight! Shoot him! Oh, shit. I gotta save Doug. No! Oh! Let's go! They got Carly. You gotta move. Oh! No! Stop on that bitch! No! Somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. He saved me! What? What? Dang. Should I have saved Carly? Did I make a mistake? Should I have let Doug die? Did Carly run out of bullets? I just feel like everything happened so fast. Did Carly run out of bullets? I just felt like she had the pistol and there was a, a zombie right there. Stomp on its hand or something. You know, I just felt like Carly could save herself. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 9 I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances.
I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. Oh, sorry, Doug. It's okay. Thanks, though. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I didn't. Oh. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish you would have picked her. dinosaur was toast but you know what he wasn't oh and then hey duck uh you want to cool it for a minute okay sorry i'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here no it's not that it's i got grabbed again i was there though i fell and my walkie-talkie broke glenn had the other one it's just a walkie-talkie it probably wasn't much use to begin with it wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee... Do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay.
so that is the end of this season it has been a wild first season your honesty lied to herschel you and 46 percent of other players lied who would you save duck or sean looking back at it i still would have saved duck you and 30 percent of players chose duck i mean i feel like sean would have been more of an asset though he probably would have helped more in the missions that we have to come but i just felt like duck was a little kid and for the future generation we need kids around loyalty side with kenny you and 54 percent of players defended kenny mercy gave irene the gun you and 47 percent of players gave her the gun listen i just thought that it was her choice so she should be able to make the choice that she wanted to make i mean after all she's bitten she's gonna die anyway and she's gonna turn into one of those zombies so it's kind of like a lose-lose situation so why not just end yourself already so you don't turn into one of those zombies you know you just gotta torque your morality compass a little bit at a situation like that who would you save doug or carly you and 51 percent of players chose doug looking back at it i feel like i probably should have chose carly because she had a shot on her but at the same time doug was closer to me and carly had a loaded gun that she didn't use as a weapon her foot was tangled up and she didn't use her other foot to stomp the zombie's arm something that i felt like she could have did i don't know I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them!